Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in today's video I'm going to talk about septic tank problems that result from having a soak away in clay soil. So if your septic tank and soak away are in clay soil or maybe you're installing a new septic tank and soak away and you've dug down a bit and it's just like really thick, heavy, dense clay, what do you do? How's the soak away even going to work in that situation? Well, let me show you a really simple solution. All right, so here's a standard onion tank. All right, so the onion tank is full up with water. There you go, it's full up with water there. And this is the soak away here. So the liquid from the tank would go into the soak away. So there you go, it's filled up with soak away. <clears throat> now here, this line here represents the topsoil. So topsoil typically, right, goes anywhere from half a foot to a foot and a half below the grass. So all this other area here, this other area, let's see if I can make this, this is all clay, all right? So this is clay. This is horrible, thick, hard clay. So as you know, clay, um, it, well, let's start with the topsoil. Topsoil or chalk, stuff like that, offers amazing percolation, right? Because it just goes into there, it's just like, compost, you know, that breaks up in your hand. The water just naturally soaks and drains through that kind of medium like gravel. But when you start getting a harder material like clay, it's like concrete. It's like, it's like clay is very good if you want to build a pond or a lake or something like that because it holds the water. It's actually like, as, a, as, as, as I said, literally like concrete. It's just very resist water resistant right there you go right water just cannot escape through it or if it does it can't escape through it very fast so the water can only drain away very very slowly and this poses a problem because the more people you have visiting your house the more water coming in to the septic tank the more water that goes in the soak away it can't drain away quick enough so it back fills towards the house so what can you do well, if this is your scenario, then you've only got really two solutions. So solution number one, all right, is to move your soak away, right, nearer the grass. Now, any soak away that is built in or around topsoil, 99.9% .9 of the time, you won't have any problems. So if this was my place, what I would do, I would put a soak away about here. All right, so let's say for argument's sake, you use something like septic tank soak away crates. Let's say you use that, right? Then you'd put the septic tank soak away crates there. And, um, oh, I'm going a bit mad here. I'm drawing a septic tank, not a soak away pit. <laughs> so I'll do that again. All right, so I'd bring the soak away up to level here and it would look something like that. So it'd be like a long rectangle, all right? So then this would be the soil. The soil would be around here, all right? Now you can have it nearer the grass if you want. I wouldn't worry too much about the clay because as, as it transitions over from soil to clay, it will still be quite um, granular here, all right? So you can, so it'll be more granular here. And then as I said, by the time it gets down to the clay, so the main thickness of the clay, so we're looking this, this is about a meter down, two meters down, etc. But this is like half a foot, foot and a half below the grass. So how do you get the water from your septic tank into the soak away? Well, the only option, as I said, is to put like a little pumping chamber here. So what you do, you'd put a little pumping chamber. You can get, uh, you can get them anywhere. They're a couple of hundred quid. So the, uh, it would go up to ground level there. And into here, you'd put a pump, a screw fix pump, something like that. So all the liquid would go into this chamber here. So you have a bath, you get a bath relative uh, displacement of water, and then by an inch and a quarter pipe, right, it would then pump the liquid up from the pump chamber, which would be full of water here, into your soak away. And because your soak away now is in the topsoil, right, the water will just drain away naturally. You can make it a bit higher than that, to be honest. I mean, uh... I was drawing a septic tank for you. I don't know why, but let's put it, let's make it a bit more, even better for you. So if that was mine, I would do it something like that. So you're guaranteed 99.9% .9 that that liquid is just going to drain away naturally now 
into the soil. So the resistance there is a lot less, 90% less, whereas before compared to the soak away where it was before where it was here. All right, so that's one solution. Second solution, right, if you don't want to put a pump or a pumping chamber is, is still you need to bring your soak away up to the, as near as the grass as you can. But instead of going for one of those deep old kind of fiberglass onion tanks, then I would just go for something like um, a bullet shaped septic tank, which looks something like, I'm not, the best artist, I'm not the best artist in the world, but the point being is the outlet pipe is very shallow and it's near the grass, right? So personally, I don't, although there's some very good onion tanks out there, I'm not demonizing them as such. The point being is these um, low profile septic tanks, these bullet shaped septic tanks, for me, beat those old, um, onion shaped septic tanks any day. Why? Because, right, they're half the height, a minimum of half the height shallower than those onion tanks. And secondly, the outlet pipe is really shallow, which means you can put your septic tank soak away uh, crates really shallow as well. So there you go. I, ho I hope that um, if you're having difficulty with putting a soak away in clay soil, I hope that's helped you, at least given you a couple of options to maybe think about and research. But listen, thank you very much for watching this video today. As I said, my name is Jason from septictank.co.uk. If you want to see more free videos about soakaways, septic tanks, sewage treatment plants, then just go to septictank.co.uk. Or you can go on to Google and type in septic tank TV. My YouTube channel will come up and you'll see hundreds of free videos. You'll see more of me giving out free help and advice regarding septic tanks and soak away. So listen, thank you very much for watching this video today. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.